So another really useful mental image that you can use when practicing steering, you have flashlights in your eyes, of course, <laughs> in your shoulders, in your hips, your belly button, your knees, and maybe even your toes. And when you want to go to the left, you turn all your flashlights to the left. And if you turn to the right, you turn all your flashlights to the right. And if I'm turning to the left, my shoulders, I already feel my right knee, so I'm turning this way, my right knee is, have, is having more feel on the saddle than my left. My left knee is just opening a tiny little bit, I still feel, feel the saddle, but not as much anymore. And this knee is pressing lightly against the saddle. I'm not actively pressing the knee, okay? If I'm actively pressing the knee, it's causing tension in my hip. It's just the fact that I turn my shoulder is causing a rotation in my hip and this is causing my upper thigh to just cause a little bit more feel on the saddle. And this is what the horse feels, is what the horse then causes to steer over to the left. Turn my flashlights, look far ahead to the right, not down to my horse. Good. Look far ahead. If I want to go straight, my focus is straight. Now I turn my flashlights to the right. And if you do this consistently, to always use your focus, your flashlights, before you use your rein, <laughs> Well, then your horse is going to really learn to go where you look at and you get away from rain oriented oriented riding and you know the thing is we're predators we like to do things with the hands and we like to you know sit like this on a horse and to control but once we really get aware about how to use our body language when riding in a way that the horse can understand intuitively we can get away from all this gripping on the reins huh now we're going to see if we can do that also at the trot Good focus, turn left, flashlight to the left, good. Do I have to use my reins? I didn't. So now I have my hands touching at my thumbs, the palms here. So I have a really a control if I'm using them or not, if Tara is focusing my focus, following my focus. Good. And the goal is, Maybe I can do one clover or two clovers, later three clovers, and the end all four clovers without that you lose contact oh, between your hands. You don't have to take them apart to bring your horse's nose in front of your focus again. So and then you're ready to try this on a really loose rein. Come. Good. And you know, I don't have to, so I don't have to ride bridleless to practice riding bridleless. I can also practice riding bridleless on a really loose rein. Good. But then when the horse still needs help, and that I can avoid confusion, the reins are still there as a safety net. Turn my flashlights. But if I have been riding my patterns and taught the horse to really follow my energy, still with the reins, riding bridleless, one day it's not going to be very difficult. Good, Tara. Yes. <laughs>